Tycoons throw multi-million dinner for Ayla. That's what's on the front page of the Star newspaper. Tycoons throw multi-million dinner for Ayla. Insiders say that uh, remaining 25 days, the most consequential phase of the contest. I will give you details on that dinner shortly. Ex-City Finance boss escapes 12 years in jail. Former Nairobi County Chief Finance Officer Jimmy Kiamba yesterday secured his freedom by paying... 9.6 million shillings fine handed to him by the High Court over his involvement in a 18 million shillings graft case. Kimba was staring at a jail term of 12 years if he failed to pay the fine. 9.6 million shillings. Why the state blocked the MP's special sitting? An alleged plot to sneak a motion of approval of the next clerk of the National Assembly is at the center of a new battle pitting Raila Dinga and William Ruto's allies in the National Assembly. That is the story here. And um, yesterday, the Kenyatta University Vice Chancellor had his uh, final address to the staff, and it was an emotional kind of an event there where him together with the board of directors and members of the senate were fired so to speak so ku boss whips over state order to cede varsity land vice chancellor wainaina says that directive came from public service head and uh, this comes just days after president uru kenyatta said that um, there are some people who are not ready to seed varsity land for development. So Kenyatta University has been told it must surrender nearly half of its land to institutions under the Ministry of Health and Squatters. According to Vice Chancellor Paul Wainaina, the university owns 1,000 acres around the main campus. So he told them that they needed to know that should he be sacked, it would be because he tried to protect the university land. Yesterday was his last day. Uhuru drums up support for Raila in Nairobi tells of critics. President Kenyatta says that he is going nowhere and hopes that uh, Odinga wins on August 9th polls. Uhuru was speaking in Nairobi uh, yesterday when he commissioned government projects. Uh, he told of critics telling him to complete his term and leave saying that he is going nowhere. And people say that that was a direct um, answer to his deputy who has been saying that president time is almost up and he should go home. Now, tycoons throw multi-million shillings dinner for Raila. So according to Azimio Friendly Business, tycoons, top government officials, including cabinet secretaries and head of state agencies, corporates, big private sector players and civil society uh, personalities are the people who are expected to attend. Now the elite Mount Kenya billionaires officially known as Mount Kenya Foundation, are expected to take charge of the fundraising activity. Now, let me give you the breakdown. Organizers of the event have crafted a four-tier seating arrangement, each having a different price tag. Here we go. According to the plan, there will be a high table, crescent, corporate. With 10 seats, each seat goes for a million bob. Jen? Uh, I don't know whether you'll be there, uh, just asking. Members of corporate will sit closest to the Azimio candidate, followed by a five-seater premier category whose members will also pay one million bob. The third category is platinum, where three guests will contribute three million shillings each. Almost at the periphery will be the gold category where two guests will join forces and raise a million shillings each to occupy the seat area. I will be somewhere, sitting somewhere uh, around there. So at the farthest end will be silver members, single guests who will contribute 500,000 shillings each. It is the lowest category according to the invitation out there. Lens.